Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is the big one. Woo. This is the giant one. I am so excited. Not because of this movie, but because it's Friday. It is oh, Friday. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm excited. I'm also excited for John Boyd's mouth. I know you are. Hot I boy. Love that mouth. Shane, the cannibal gypsy Mike G. Dangerous game. Legacy murders. America's first serial killer. Chicago, Illinois. Will yeah. Sasso. Will Sasso. Me and Shane are really tight on a couch right now. Jonathan Riss Myers. Yeah. Because. There is a dog. There is a dog. John Voight. Gosh, is there ever more overacting in a movie before? This movie is special. Um, the acting all around is pretty atrocious. It's really bad. Um, the I'm plot gonna, of this movie? I'm going to disagree on that Okay. One. <laughs> the plot of this movie is really kind of stupid. Good. Oh, I thought you were going to say good because it's good. It uh, forces and manipulates itself. To help it find a conclusion. Yes. Who is this chick, by the way? The sister. This oh, is Virginia. Right. Virginia. Yeah. Um, but I will say this about this movie. This might be the best Final Friday movie we reviewed in quite some time. Definitely in the last two or so weeks. It's like kind of special, this movie. Like, I, this is a hidden gem. It's got a special place in your heart. I think more people need to see this movie and find this movie and realize that John Voight is a national treasure. Yeah, it's true. And he's been one for, like, what, 80 years? Well, yeah. he's been in both national treasure movies. So. See? See? It all comes together. He's, like, the one old person I like. Yeah. I don't I, I don't know if I like him. I just like his mouth a lot. His mouth is incredible. He's also incredible. And I could yeah. spot that mouth from a fucking mile away. It's, it's, it's so true. tiny. It's such a tiny mouth. Mike is the one person to watch the Selena Gomez vehicle get away sure. and point out John Voith strictly off of his mouth. Because you don't see his face until the end, right? right. And it's just all mouth. Mm. And I'm like, bro, mm. that's the homie, yeah. John Voight. That's his mouth. Because I knew his mouth well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of good things to say about this movie. Oh, bro. It, oh. it definitely wasn't a good movie, but it, it was entertaining for sure. For yeah. sure. Like, I will say I, it was pretty graphic. It was more graphic than I expected. Oh, yeah. It seemed like it was going to lead up to be a more playful movie, and they, are, they have no problem killing kids and having Jonathan Riss Myers leap through his girlfriend's intestines. Yeah. Or um, like when Will Sasso's eyeballs get fucking plucked out. And plucked. eaten. Yeah. His I, foot also blows up. That yeah. was really graphic. What yeah. a tone setter that was, huh? Yeah, no, it's... Uh, also, There's a lot of people in a bad situation in this movie. Yeah. Oh, like they I also murder. Right they murder a cat. Yeah, that was fucked up. It goes right into the drainage pipe and just gets shredded. So, this movie is all about family and legacy. It's basically like watching a Texas Chainsaw movie, right? <laughs> family legacy. Uh, except their legacy is that their distant relative was raped by H. H. Holmes and then birthed this family. Yeah. And supposedly this is like a, a cyclical thing that's supposed to repeat itself. Yeah. That's the whole idea. Like it goes down a line of and, and fuels serial killer. Like there's one serial killer from each leg of the family tree. Mm -hmm. And it kind of sprinkles down to like the idea is who's going to be the next serial killer. And like the one survivor of this game will be that supposed to be that serial killer. Yeah. H.H. H. Holmes. He's a real guy. Yeah. Real. He was the. I technically is dubbed one of America's first serial killers because he killed during the 1920s. He built a hotel to house people for the Chicago's fair, but the hotel uh, had rooms that went to nowhere and stairs that went to nowhere and rooms that led to gas chambers or torture chambers, and he would kill the residents of his hotel. People so, also think and rumor that Jack the Ripper is H.H. H. Holmes. Yes, a lot of people think because the time of Jack the Ripper disappearing and H.H. H. Holmes starting yeah. is in timeline. So he just took on a whole new like serial killer identity? A lot. It's not. It's just a theory people have that Jack the Ripper fled Europe to take on the persona of H.H. H. Holmes and continue Was he doing killing. similar things in Europe? Not really. No. Yeah, because he was more of like a... Sl he was he just was slashing up prostitutes in the streets. Yeah. So he evolved as a serial killer. That's if... They actually are the same person. Should I force Matt to do a deep dive on this? Yeah, there's no. there's definitely well, there's uh, a, lot a lot of, of articles. Yeah, but that, that, that would be a lot of research, and we're not going to have Matt Quest do that. <laughs> Matt Quest, that's a new name, Matt Quest. Yeah, no, it would. He could be reading literally about the H. H. Holmes uh, 
Jack the Ripper ties for like hours. There's yeah. so much I have, like, theory. The characters are interesting in this movie. I definitely have problems with almost all of them. Uh, the girl's a little too tooty for me, for sure. Like she just has like a, a teenage attitude the entire okay, film. That, the blonde girl, Libby, right? Is her yeah. name? Is so unlikable. She's, she's actually more likable when she's revealed to actually be a murderer. Yeah, she's annoying, really annoying to the point where like it's overwhelming. Yeah, I agree. Um, I need your opinion. On, John Voight uh, honestly looks he's like he's on pain medication this entire movie. Yeah, he he's does just, look like yeah. a grandpa that doesn't know where he is. He looks like he, he looks like he's high. Yes. Do you yeah. think he's playing that off, or you think that's how he is now in real life? No, I think me. I don't know. I I do think our character has got to be a little loof. Matt, yeah. can some I get degree. an H check on John Voight? Sure. That's a quick well, Google. When was this made? That's a good point. Uh, it came out two years ago. Fuck. I mean, also consider he has to put on that face with of the of like the painkillers in it because he's yeah. in a wheelchair. Right. Yo, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. He, he does look like he's high. Will Sasso looks completely disengaged from this movie. I don't oh. know if you guys think that. I felt like that. I feel like he doesn't want to be here. Right. Did you watch him on Matt TV? Uh, back in the day? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. He, the way he talks in this movie is very similar. So just like dry? Yeah. But uh, just, it, he is bad though because he's like, Dad, you guys to be doing this, Dad. That's he, what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure that was intentional. Yeah. Throughout. He's 85 years old. J- JV's 85. Good for him. God bless him. Yeah, good. I he bet, does. I bet that mouth is at least 50. My grandpa's 85 and doesn't know where he is. Will Sasso makes some ridiculous noises in this movie. Oh he might. God. He might. He might do it for comedic value, but some of it just comes off as just oof. Try hard. Yeah. It it just comes off as just like it's not. It doesn't fit mm, with the yeah. movie. I agree. Um, Rise, and do then, you think this movie was like a ripoff? Yeah, sort like of seventeen different yeah. things. Yeah, look, I, I was entertained thoroughly though. I'm just pick, I'm just nitpicking for sure. Um, Jonathan Rhys Myers, who I do like from like TV shows like The Tudors, was I feel like overacted the entire movie. I feel like all he did was scream in people's faces for an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. Am I wrong? Am he, I wrong? He, he's the one who cuts his girlfriend up at the. It's Kyle. Yeah, yeah. he. And it's sick was the best part of the movie. Probably. Kyle? Yeah. I didn't like him. Who was your favorite? Uh, I know, John Voight. Question. John Voight. Like, stupid question. John Voight. Look, he's 85, right? Yeah, he's killing He's it. absolutely terrible in this movie. Not good. But like, but I love him. I literally won't stand for this shit. He's like, you fucking asshole, son of a bitch. I they showcase the dangerous, uh, dangerous game Legacy Murders. Yeah. He's like, oh, let's play. Yeah. <laughs> We're supposed to play the game. <laughs> like it's a cross of Clue, Saw, Are You Scared? Like it's just <laughs> everything. Like and it's just so bad, but so wonderful. Okay. At so the same time. They're in this fucking giant palace. Um Yeah. How did they get their fortune? Uh his dad owned a company. His dad the dad was Times Man of the Year. And then the dad was running the company into the ground with his kooky ideas. So the son was going to confront him on it. But then the son, Kyle, found out he was a serial killer. So he, so in order to, for the company not to tank and to keep the stockholders happy, <laughs> instead of ratting his dad out that he was a serial killer, he beat him with a baseball bat to paralyze him so he couldn't murder anymore. He literally broke his back yes. to substitute him coming out as a serial killer. To help the stocks. And then, like, stole the business? Because yes. he keeps getting... He, no, he stole the business after that moment. So Kyle's kind of awesome. Yeah. <laughs> He's also potentially, like, harboring a few... You know, what is that called? Oh, they're all accomplices to murder. He, he, because both brothers knew the dad was a murderer. There's a specific term. Why does Libby hate the other family well, members? Brian, that makes sense because she's a murderer, too, but... Right, and as Brian pointed out brilliant, brilliantly earlier, that she's a prissy cunt. She really is. So the whole family's going to get together. They're going to celebrate the dad's birthday, right? Yeah, he's turning 85. 85. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wild. Uh, okay, sorry, bud. Um, and the one sister, Virginia, is not there. We know from the opening that Virginia has already died in that the gas is, chamber. That bitch is dead. So uh, something, they're all going to go to sleep at night, and the, the building's going to get put on lockdown, and they're not going to know what's going on, and Kyle's girlfriend is missing so they think she may have done it or left early until eventually they're like this has to be the butler for some reason they automatically assume it's the butler it's always the butler yeah so uh the one brother played by will sasso he's gonna go into the security room 
and his foot's going to just get fucking blown off. And I mean, like... The bottom of his foot yeah. is blown off. He's got, like, a giant hole. And it's pretty gross. And they need to cauterize the wound. Yes. So, <laughs> the one girl, the one girlfriend, she's a vet. So, that's close enough to a real doctor. Doctor adjacent, as yep. we have established. Adjacent. And she's going to cauterize the wound for him. And he's going to get knocked out. And this is when they're going to see the board game. And... He's like, ooh, let's play. And they have to play this board game. So three girls, Libby, uh, vet, uh, wife, uh, they all have to play the board game. And then the son of Kyle and Kyle go out to search for what's actually going on, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And, um, I mean, that's the biggest thing here. I mean, like, I think all over the PA system where you consistently hear this the guy say, you got to play the game. And the amount of times Jonathan Riss Myers avoids playing the game yeah. and gets his family killed is quite frustrating. But the entire movie actually is avoided if they play the game. Yeah. It's like, um, saw two. Yeah. Donnie Wahlberg. Now, yeah. I don't know if they get out alive regardless, but I think the way they're dying is going to be avoided. But the thing is, I think they do get out alive because they keep dying one by one by not playing the game. If they figure out the mystery together, they actually all can overpower a 16-year-old child, John, right? John, like, Yeah, Kyle, he tries to do the short way because he knows the house has secret passages yeah. and things like that because he knows his father is the legacy of H.H. H. Holmes yes. and his father. To, so he, can, I think he's trying to get him to share to the family that he's a serial killer. Yes. And he never says it. Right. They, they, they have this like underlying between him and the brother, Alec, that he's a serial killer and they're not, they would say, Kyle, you know something and he won't say it yet again. He keeps yelling at his dad too, but I think this time is enough for him to be like, yo, my dad's a fucking okay. serial. And that's killer. what makes this a bad movie. That's enjoyable. Is that like Kyle and the brother, if they just say our dad's a serial killer, he's done this, we need to find a way out, I think it fixes everything. It does. It does. And there's no reason for him not to bring it up. Exactly. So that's what kind of like is a, that's a plot hole. Especially when the one younger son dies and gets killed with a gas chamber. When he goes in and clearly is blaming his dad like he knows something, just tell the rest of the family. Yeah. At this point, let it out, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, the one heavier set brother didn't know, though, right? No, he did, because he used to go on the little missions with his dad to capture the women. He did know. Really? Yeah, I, he I, did. I thought, I, thought, I thought towards the end, like, he was, like, in shock by the by finding that out. I, I think it was more so because the dad is saying you were an accomplice to all of this, and I think he just didn't want that on his conscience. Yeah, I think it was kind of like, just like uh, he knew it and was, like, repressing it in a yes, way. Like, but yes. he, he, def- he did know it. And um, I think that was a part of, like, the reason why they were... His brother and him were not. not I was feeling like the, the three of them were not very close. No, because like when your dad's a serial killer and he's taking one of them out to the cool serial killings and the other one's staying at home, there's going to be animosity. Yeah. And um, okay, did we, did we talk about him cauterizing the room with the iron? Yeah, that we we mentioned that. We're we're past so that. We're, we're, we're anything past that. You want to go? About. You want to talk about how the son's going to about to get gassed out? Yeah, let's talk about that. So they're like the the son and Kyle going through the hallways and they find this one room and the kid goes in and the door closes behind him and it's just videos of H.H. H. Holmes, right, being played. Like the, videos of H.H. H. Holmes on the walls, like a projector, and yeah. they also there's a dead body in the in the room. Which they find Virginia, the sister. Because jo- Joy leaves in the middle of the night yeah. and they, they did hint that she had to leave. But you don't you, you kind of think that she's a suspect along with the missing butler. Yes. Um, I think that she was like a red herring almost. 100%, 100%. Definitely red herring. The, the way that she left, though, they made her leave so suspiciously. The way she gets up off the couch, looks around, yeah. and leaves. Oh, yeah. Like they couldn't have made that more suspicious. But the thing is, all the suspects, because he knows who the su- he knows who the criminal is, is the killer. Like you do know that he points out it's Bo Burnham, and then he points out that it's <laughs> John sorry. Voight, and they are the killers. Like. That, that it is what it is. Yeah, no, it uh, that Bo Burnham is actually a really good like comparison to that guy, but yeah, it's like so obvious. Like, I don't know. yeah, so it's like one of those movies that can't, it's they can't, he points out the killers the whole time and they are the killers. Yep, so as much as John Voight, he looks oblivious, he's the killer. 
<laughs> like I love when uh he's like before he gets hung and shit. He's got he's like laying on the couch. He's got this like shit eating grin on his face yeah. the whole time. <laughs> well, let's talk about how he smiles while getting electrocuted. Yeah, yo, yo what happened? In so that, that scene? I think that's another gaff. I, don't understand I, I actually think that's another not gaff plot hole. I don't think that from the story of this he would have ever tried to kill his son. I feel like that wouldn't have made any no, fucking sense. No, because the whole point is for him to carry on the legacy, and he thinks one of his sons could do it at first, unless he always knew Libby was going to be the one to do it. But, like, yeah. And the thing is, the idea is he needs his son to kill him. Yeah. Or someone to kill him, right? Through right, the to news, be the first. Because to, to, that's the way he goes out as part of the legacy. So why would he attempt to kill one of the sons by electrocuting him? It, it, it's a, It's a... It's a flaw. Right. And also, if he messes up and electrocutes himself and kills himself, himself. it also ruins everything. Another flaw, yeah. Which almost happened, because he does electrocute himself. But, but saving this movie is John Voight's acting is so bad throughout all of these scenes. I know Mike disagrees, but... Hard disagree. Now, what makes you love John Voight? What did he do in this movie that you're like, this is it? Um. Well, he's a cool 85. Okay. <laughs> he's the only old person in the world I like. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a fan. I mean, his acting is comically bad in this movie. I'll give you that. I was laughing while he was speaking. Yeah, me too. Because it doesn't look like he knows where he is. Is it a traditionally good performance? Of course not. <laughs> Between him and Will Sasso, who is actually worse in this movie? Um, it, It's probably I'm him. I'm going to go Sasso <laughs> because he's like probably has more of a clear head on him. Yeah, okay. So one thing I do also think is really stupid about this movie and it's also what makes this movie great right is all the game pieces they're trying to figure out how they coincide with the people playing right but it actually is all of their deaths but how would they know only one person dies from gas only one person gets hanged only one person gets shot only one person gets like how do you purpose there's no way to predict that each person is going to die from one of the ways on the game pieces. How do they know only the dogs are going to kill one person? That's so unpredictable. Yeah. Yeah. Good plot hole, Shani. Like, and, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the pieces need to fit, like, pretty well. And they kind of shape the story as it, as it goes. Yeah, it's fine. I feel like the rules are not giving you up front, or at least clarity on what the rules are. Yeah. And I, I, I get it because partially they, they're discovering it over time and it's mm -hmm. like the big mystery of who the father is and the legacy. But yeah, it just doesn't like really mesh well and it has to fit perfectly to to get that end result. Yeah, it makes no sense. Um, Some of the deaths. They're good though. I like the deaths. The deaths are good. Solid. I thought the uh, human oven. Amazing. The I thought whole... that was really well done. Yeah, no. I, okay, so we'll talk about it. Uh, cause we're on that pretty much. Eventually yeah. Kyle's going to get pushed into a trap door by the Butler. And in the trap door is his wife who is car is clearly someone has ripped her chest apart and put a key in her. Saw. Uh, Saw and like. he has to go into her to find the key. And he does that by removing all of her organs. So clearly he had no intention of keeping her alive. Right. Um, but then he finds not a key, but a dog whistle. And he decides to sit there and die without ever telling the people up top that his dad's the murderer. That's the time to bring it up. I'm actually yeah. spitting when I talk. I'm so excited. He blows the whistle whistle as his last breath and effort. Right, but like, just tell them. Be like, my dad's H.H. H. Holmes. There's also no key. There, no. There's, there's no key there. So there, the, the, It's he a lie. Was, he was never getting out of that. No. See, that's one thing Jigsaw never did. He always put a key. He wasn't a fucking liar. Yeah. Well, Hoffman would just pull shit like that. Well, Hoffman, yeah. Hoffman, Hoffman was a bad Hoff guy. Hoffman's a cunt. Yeah. So anyway, the the girlfriend and Kyle both crisp and die here. So now we're down to Libby, uh, Will Sasso, Will Sasso's wife, and uh, the veterinarian girl. And they start, like, figuring shit out at this yeah, point. Yeah, this is because they unlock the puzzle. They get the diary. They find H.H. H. Holmes' diary. and they 200 realize, degrees? Yeah. They realize the dad has been murdering people based on H.H. H. Holmes. Yeah. Like, Will Sasso cracks the code with the miles, putting them into Roman numerals, like, it, as it is, and yep. he's able to pop out the H.H. H. Holmes book. Now, with a missing foot, how does Will Sasso manage to get this news drag uh, the guy all the way up a flight of stairs and toss him over, missing half his foot. I don't know. I guess Will Sasso's just really strong. Yeah, so he does the one thing to complete his legacy, which is get get himself hung. Yep. 
Also, think about it. John Voigt, he's a very fragile 85 Yeah, he year probably old. weighs like literally a buck 20. He's like all mouth at this point. Yeah. <laughs> if there's one thing I know about old dudes, they wither away and barely weigh anything because they're just bone. So yeah. John Voigt is mainly bone, and bone, that's it. Bone and mouth. And his bone has lost density, so his bone weighs even less. Yeah, that's so science. I'm be, basically a doctor right now. A Jace. It'd be easy to toss him over that balcony. Yeah, even him. with half a foot. And he was still smiling, too. Mm-hmm. He wanted that shit. Yo, rank, so if you had to choose, like, the way you die in terms of, like, people, have, what would you choose at the top one? Oh, getting dog, shot. Dog mangled, foot. Getting shot. Oh, the wife the gets foot. shot at the end. It's you wouldn't the, pick human oven? That looks miserable. Yeah, that's one of the worst ways. What about the gas chamber? That also feels miserable. Dude, the woman gets shot. Which one? The wife. She oh, gets yeah. shot. Granted, she gets shot in the neck first, but I think I'd still rather suffer with a neck wound for 10 seconds and then take the shot to the head than cook a lot. cook? Or get eaten by a dog. Do you know how yeah. long getting eaten by a dog probably There's takes? three of them, too. Yeah. The gas looks miserable. Yeah, that's slow. That's a slow one. I don't want to get operated on. You don't want your eyeballs? Maybe the hanging. Because at least if your neck breaks the first toss yeah. over, that's quick. And that would be the case because it looks like it's a pretty steep drop. Yeah. I would take probably the gunshot. I would get shot. The hanging. I don't know what it would would be worse. Gas. Probably gas over burning. Burning's got to be the worst. Yeah, the burning's got to be Burning is way low. That's I, I actually one. think. Dude. Her, dogs. Bro. Her death is bad too with the cut up. Yeah, I don't. Oh, that's yeah. got to be like. Oh. I would. I would probably put that right above the burning. Yo, and then the dogs the, above that. She gets the double whammy. Unless she's on some kind of pain meds, but if she's not, there's no. That, that's Imagine brutal. She's feeling all this. That's what I'm saying. Where, where, where are you placing d- dog? Uh, I'm gonna. Okay, so we're gonna, we're starting from the bottom. Burning. Yeah, easily. Worse. Then I'm going the surgery. I agree. Then I'm going the dog. Wow. Dog over the gas. Yeah. There's like the gas, you're kind of just choking, and that's got to suck. But imagine just having yeah. dogs. If they're not getting your neck they're first, they're eating, like eating you. your leg. Or uh, your the, arm. Only, the only thing I would hope for, and why I might put the dogs higher, is what if they bite an artery? Or like they, True. Like, a dog would probably go for a kill shot and right away. There's three of them. Yeah, one would probably go for a kill shot. Kill, you know where you think Especially you know where like, dogs know do where, like, uh... yeah, they're animals. Most animals are like they're hunters, so they know, like, a, like a leopard. Wants its prey dead as fast as possible. So a leopard will bite a neck to kill the animal right away. This way it could eat it. Certain dogs, though, eat animals alive. So they eat you from, like, the waist. <laughs> they make it as painful as, as possible. possible. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's tough. It's still tough. you learn that while watching Planet Earth? Yes. Nice. So. Oh, is that with David Attenborough? It was either America's favorite one, hero, even though he's British, or, or one of those shows. But yeah, I remember hearing it on one of those. Remember when I used to do GNN? I'd call myself. It's literally the worst. The modern day David D A. Yeah, David Ambrose. Yeah, it was terrible. So, so fucking good at that job. You were okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So all right. So that's fair. Going either gas or animals. Those could flip. It's tough. It's tough. The knife to the head also sucks. I would take that, though, because right yeah. to the brain. I, I would take yeah. that. It would be the number two. Because a lot of his motor function probably shut down yep. as soon as he got took the knife to uh-huh. the head. Did so, you say motor function? What's that mean? Like you're being able to move. Yeah. Oh. Like everything's it's, it's, it's all like you sent from your brain. You kind of shut down. You're alive, but yeah. you're kind of shutting down. I'm taking the gunshot. Yeah, the gunshot's by far the best death. I, or the hanging. It's one or the other. Gunshot, hanging, knives. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. We have our death ranking. So let's talk about the last couple deaths. So Libby, the wife, and Will Sasso are going to leave because they think they killed the dad. Everything's safe. They're going to be hunted now by the dogs and the butler. Butler. And look at that shit-eating grin he's got. (laughs) He loves this. This is what he wanted. This this is like the pre-moment for Shane. Like... He yeah. is in absolute elation right now. Like when, With Shane, figuring when out Shane's them. like preying gallons and pawing gallons. He's like, that's yes. where he. That's where voice. Read right the now. work of the legacy. Crazy, you guys are sickos. That's gonna be Shane's legacy. Preying, preying a lot. Yeah, I, that's kind of the worst legacy. You no, that's have. a that's a good one. It's kind of terrible. Uh so yeah, we we discussed this. The family's now on the the run in. Oh, it's not also... Also, the vet is still with them. Yeah. Because they're all going to... Es- she, oh, she gets dogged. Yeah, they, they escape, and they get to that little, like, house in the woods <laughs> where they can hide from the dog because they have the dog whistle. Right. I kind of got confused with this part because the vet says she's healthy. She could run and find a boat. She finds a boat. But why doesn't she take the boat? Why does she leave 
to go get eaten by dogs? Was she trying to go get the family and tell them where the boat was? Is that what the idea? That's there the was? most. Uh, she was looking. Thing? Well, I forgot what she was looking for. A way out. She was looking for a way out. She was gonna go and come back. Okay, so that's why she doesn't yeah, take the boat. Right, she will goes back to the family. This like palace. It's not just, you can't just take a road It's out. an island. It's an island. Yeah, they all come in via helicopter. Yeah. Okay, so she's going back to tell the family where the boat is, but then Libby's like, oh no, I lost the whistle. And right here is when I knew she yeah, was the killer. I, yeah. yeah. So obviously she doesn't blow the whistle. The girl jumps into a well, but the dogs also jump they in. They hop there. literally right in. So I assume the dogs also so just yeah, live down there So yeah, she's like uh, hanging on, and then they chew her fingers, yeah. and she falls in. It's also not super deep either. Yeah, so th- she gets eaten. And that's when Libby's like, oh, wait, here's the whistle. And they're like, it was you the whole time? Yeah. That, it became obvious when she's like, I, I fucking lost the whistle. And that part is just literally when she's, it's awful. Yeah. The whole thing's just awful. Because this scene where she stabs Will Sasso in the head and the noises and face he makes. Right. Super fucking campy. I hated that. Yeah. Super goofy too. Yeah, and she like really fucking goofy. eats his eye or some shit. Yo, because right when yeah, like, H.H. Holmes wasn't a cannibal. Yeah, I don't know where she got that. That that was yeah. H.H. H. Holmes didn't he? He just murdered. Like yeah, I don't think he ate people. Right. Yeah, I mean I don't even know if he actually. Yeah, I think he did kill some people, but like primarily his murders were in the, yes. ho- the house, like crazy traps in the house. Yeah. He's the modern day all with the old jigsaw. <laughs> literally, and she's so fucking eating eyeballs. Yo, you made a good point about the dogs though. Because they jumped in the well, and now they're just there. <laughs> Is anybody going to get them out? <laughs> but they don't at the end of the movie. So they're just... they're. There's just dogs in a the well. They're just eating well. Did, did you... Did you fucking see that shit? I, okay, leave me hanging. Oh, okay. I respected that. My bad. Um, Behind the boathouse... I'll show you my dark secret. See, it's, it's accurate. Matt, Matt, what song is that? What are they singing? What are you doing over there? <laughs> I was trying to look at whether he was a cannibal or not. Oh, I thought you were looking up stuff about Wells. <laughs> no, that would be Albert Fish. Would be Albert that Fish. That would be Albert Fish, one of the first cannibals, right? Matt, Albert yep. Fish. You don't need Google to search up serial killers because he knows everything about Albert them. Fish, he used to love to have needles shoved into his asshole and penis, and then he used to take small children and throw them over his back and yeah. have them claw at his back as they fell down his back. It's kind of nuts. So he, he was would, a masochist? He would yeah. he would he just was, he would steal kids and like put them in like a and fucking... And he would eat the kids. Yeah, like yeah. a, a cabin. they clawed him? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he was a child rapist, serial, uh, like, uh, he ate children, he... Rape children, he killed children. And if you pull up a picture of Albert Fish, you'll be like, okay, I understand. He is the gray man. That was his nickname. Yeah. He was the gray man. Does he look gray? Yes. Is he skin gray? Look how gray he is in this picture. Matt, turn the camera, turn the monitor. Yeah, I'm going to drag it over here. Oh, yes. Like, uh, is there a grayer man? The dude is so fucking gray. <laughs> yeah, that was his nickname, the gray man. He, what is the rumor? He killed like a hundred people or something like so that. So they only got him on like, thir- how many murders did they got on Albert Fish? I think it's like 13, yeah. but like there's like hundreds of like. Missing wh- children yeah, and stuff like, like that. Potentials they, 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 yeah. that they, they could like chalk up a shit ton yeah. to They called him the Brooklyn Vampire. Yeah, that's correct. He used to write letters to the parents saying like, yes. I'm sorry, yep. but I ate your child. Yeah, he's fascinating. Killed a hundred victims. Was he really sorry? Is it a hundred known? Um, that's cr- he if it is. That he killed hundred victims. Oh, uh, when they asked him, yeah. They can only how many they 13. pin on him? Yeah, uh, everything I read something like that. So that. there's like eighty seven, just up in the air. Because I think when they got him, he admitted to everything and just kept giving them stuff. So the thing is, you can only charge someone even if they admit to it. You need still need the evidence yeah. to tie the person to it. Yeah, like Henry Lee Lucas says he's killed close to two to 300 people, but they only charged him on, like, four murders. Because they can only prove he I'm killed four people. I'm not going to lie, getting away, like, skating the cops through 300 bodies is pretty impressive. Well, Henry Lee Lucas, he was just a hitchhiker, and he would just kill people as he hitchhiked. He was a transient. He was a vagabond. He would take. Tra- he would hop on trains and just travel from state to state and kill people Dude, wherever he landed. I don't know the guy's name. I was just reading up on one guy. It was called the Golden State Killer. He was also known as like the East Area Rapist. Yes. Where this guy raped, I think like 40 to 50, some outrageous number Mm -hmm. of people. And this literally went, and they started killing people. He evolved all through like the West Coast. 
Over like three or four decades. Yes. They just caught him like five years ago. Literally like five years ago. And yeah. how they caught him was because he they they passed a law where everybody had to provide DNA evidence. And they tied DNA, the DNA and to the old to, to toll case. All this shit like years ago. Uh, the East Area Rapist is called James uh, Joseph James D'Angelo. Dude, when they yeah. get him, like 2018, it was some like, re- like some recent. Yeah. Uh, 2023? Oh wow! So, oh, they, so they probably got yeah. him. Oh, no, that's early. an interview. No, I'm sorry. That's oh, okay. Because it, it is recent, though. They did yeah, just recently get him. Recent for sure. Um, and to answer your question, uh, Fish was suspect in ten murders, at least ten murders during his lifetime. Okay, so it was ten, and then he admitted to doing like close to a hundred. Yeah, it's tough because, like you know, he could have literally done whatever he he could he could have buried bodies that are not yeah. even found, yeah. like. Especially because he ate people. Where did so he bring bodies that don't even exist? Anymore. Where did he bring those bodies? Did he bring them to like was it upstate New York? Or, yeah, I know he dump, didn't he just used to dump them in like a landfill or yeah, something. Yeah, like some shit. Back fucking, then, without cameras everywhere, yeah, so you could fucking do whatever. Dude, it's it's it it really is sick. I wish I was around then. I'm just kidding. That's sick. <laughs> but that's why hitchhiking is outlawed in 48 out of 50 states. Where is it legal? I don't know, but it is legal somewhere. Uh, uh, we could look that up after. That doesn't need to be. PA? I went down. People it. were doing it when I was in Washington all the time. So I'm going to say Washington. Makes sense. That is a lawless state, pretty much. Uh, 44 out of 50 states. Oh, wow. It's, so it's legal in six still. That's crazy. I'm trying to find out which ones. Iowa. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they would outlaw it because that's kind of in the area of like... Um, What's his name? Bundy, right? Like Bundy Iowa. was like Iowa, Michigan so. area. I feel like that's a good place to be a serial killer. Iowa. You get a yeah. lot of good work done. You know, you get a lot more on the coasts, I feel like. Except like the transient guys. They did a lot of Midwest killings. It's fascinating. Well, because actually, Dahmer was what? He was Dahmer was Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Wisconsin death trip. Yeah. Crazy. All right, let's bow this up. Yeah, let's let's tie this movie together. So Libby, obviously the killer, she stabs her dad in the back of the head, like we said. She eats his eye. She then shoots her mom in the head, shoots her mom in the neck. She goes back to the mansion where she's greeted by the butler, who she refers to as an uncle. Yeah. So was he an actual uncle or she just like, you've been around forever, you're my uncle kind of deal? Maybe they were like side boning. She called him an uncle. <laughs> she's like 17, 16. Mike. Mike. You wanted to bow this, and you made it weird. <laughs> Moral of the story, she leaves with the butler, and the movie ends, and she is now on to carry on the family legacy of she being just going to live Jones. in that fucking palace with just him? Yeah. What are they going to do? Mike, stop. <laughs> stop making it weird. And then, and then they just show him, like, resetting the game board, I guess, for, like, when she's done, they're going to, like... Yeah, so she has to have her kids, who then have their kids... And then she again carries on the game. Who's she having kids with? This fucking guy. This fucking guy. All right, let's just rate this movie. You want to rape the movie? Rate. Oh. Rate. Four, three, Shane. two, one. Uh, yes. Yeah, I gave it a thumbs up. First, disagree. I, yeah, I was uh, on the fence with this one. I just what th- pushed it to a, a negative though. I just I think the overacting. I mean, I I really like the kills though. Yeah, I'm very upfront about that. I think I just think the the plot and the it was a little far fetched for yeah, me. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what made me up this movie: the kills and people need to see how bad John Voight has gotten at acting. He's yeah. why I thought. I so. mean, he's 85, and no 85, I guess, should be really acting anymore anyway. But man, he is exceptionally bad. Like he half the time, and maybe he doesn't. But he doesn't look like he knows where he is. Yeah. It looks like they took a senile grandpa and they're like, here's the camera. Do something. And it feels kind of abusive, but it's kind of funny at the same time in a dark kind of way. And Bri, you said Will Sasso was checked out. I thought he was disengaged, but maybe that was just his like character and style. It just I, I thought he was just like collecting a paycheck. That's what it seems like. I don't disagree with that. But I still want I, I think I think people should see it. I just think oh, it's a it's, movie people should see. It's definitely entertaining. Wasn't yeah. that at one point Will Sasso like a lemon guy on the internet? He was just like eating lemons. You've never seen those videos? I think I heard of that. Was, yeah, that, yeah. It, was that just after he did Three Stooges? I feel like he was just sucking lemons. <laughs> I really hope you just made that up. I'm almost positive it's real. 
<laughs> Will Matt, Sasso Lemon Guy. Matt, let's search up Will Sasso Lemons. <laughs> There's a compilation from Vine. I fucking knew it. I knew he was, yeah. <laughs> 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 so yeah, it's so fucking stupid but i kind of love it okay how does well, he fit that in his mouth i don't know <laughs> all right we're ending it there holy shit will sasso lemon guy Two out of three recommendations. See, I love how when I brought that up, you looked at me like I was a crazy person. I still thought you were. Uh, next then I was proven we- right. Next week, we are going to go do a 2B original because that's what we do. We are doing a very different type of movie. Slay. Slay. Slay queen. Yas, bitch. <laughs> oh. Very different type of movie is right. But is it going to hit? Is it going to slap? Is it going to bite? I'm going to leave that. Feeling it's going to be fabulous. I'm, I see what you did there. Yeah. I'm going to leave that up, you know, for people to guess. Do will, we like this movie? Will it be fabulous or will it be a drag? Oh, <laughs> oh well so done. Well so done. Good. I like him a lot more than I like you. That's fair. So we'll see you next week for Slay. Yeah, you will. www.thefinalpodcast.com for all the reviews, videos, and content. Looking forward to catching you next week to listen to the Bogart Show, the Shanghai Yo. Show, the Not As Good As The Real Show Show. <laughs> the actual show is on Mondays. You can tune into that if you want to watch like a, an actual good show. Like, yeah, we'll see you then. Bye. Get your Bye. lemons in, people. <laughs>